I don't remember how young I was when I played the first game in the Devil May Cry series. What I do know is that I was turned off by how it forced me into exploring a building the whole time, as I thought it would be doing a lot more than that. I inevitably stopped at the first boss, but when I played the sequel immediately after, I didn't even finish the first level. I know, shocking. This duo would remain unplayable until I purchased the HD collection for the PS3 in a post-DMC5 world. I'll keep my opinion of DMC1 brief. I think it's a good game with fun mechanics and a healthy dose of bullshit. DMC2 on the other hand is a completely different story entirely, going for more of a minimalistic approach. I really tried to like this one. The environment is as bland as I remember it being, and it's packaged with a narrative that may as well not even be there, because what else am I doing besides moving from zone to zone and killing Hellspawn like it's my job or something? It didn't even feel good to hit them, and I had vibration turned on. By the way, I used this button-sensitive controller to play the entire collection, and I learned several things from this unique experience. The most important one is that the more disconnected, the more fun I was clearly trying to have. Can you guess how often that happens? It's bad is what I'm trying to say. I rarely play a game that I genuinely think is bad, but when I do, it's a big fucking deal for me personally, because it lets me know from the bottom of my heart that yes, we can go lower than this.